Hello students, I am Professor Neeta Fulchan Gaikwad. Welcome in our free education channel English Master. Dear students, today is the second day of our Learn English in 10 days series. So, yesterday I have taught and uploaded the first session of this series. Learn English in 10 days. This is a challenge for all my students. Okay, so today is the second day of this challenge and as we have already learned and we have already started about the first part of speech, the type of the part of speech that is noun. So let's learn about it in today's lecture and keep supporting our English Master channel. Thanks a lot for your love and support and I really appreciate your love and support to our English Master channel. So students, as we already learned in yesterday's lecture, that is in the parts of speech, the number one, what is the most important parts of speech is the noun. Okay, and I have already taught you in the previous lecture what is noun and we started the types of noun. So, in the upcoming lectures, we are going to learn pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. So, to... Uh, for your in, uh, better uh, understanding or for your information, I have given the meaning in the Hindi also. Okay. So, students, in yesterday's lecture, we learnt it and today I am just repeating it for all of you. That is, what is noun? So, noun is a part of speech that denotes something such as a person, place, thing or idea. In short, the name of a person, place, thing or idea it's called in English grammar as a noun. So, as I have taught you in yesterday's lecture, that is types of noun, we already learned about the common noun and proper noun. So, in today's lecture, let's learn about the collective noun, material noun and abstract noun. What is collective noun? So, uh, this collective verb or the collective word is uh, uh, when we heard this word okay so the first thing comes in our mind that is about the collection okay so collective nouns are names for a collection or a number of people or things when the number of people or things comes together it becomes the collection okay so the collective noun denotes a number of people or things so there are some nouns for groups of people there are uh, in the collective noun, there are nouns for group of people. So, I am going to tell you through the examples. Look at here. This is an audience in the stadium. Okay. So, we call it as an audience. Okay. So, let's, uh, uh, let's call them an audience because they all are audience. And look at here. I have used an article before the collective noun. So, in the collective nouns, we are using, okay. So, in the collective nouns, articles are most important to use. So, let's learn about it. And audience, okay. Then, what is the next? These, uh, in this picture, what are you seeing? That all the students are sitting in a classroom. So, basically, this is a class. So, a class is a collective noun, which is showing the group of students, okay. Uh, and... Let's learn next. Look at the all members in a family. So, we are saying it as a family. A family is a collective noun, which is denoting all the family members. Next, look at the Indian cricket team. This is a team which includes all the team members or all the players. So, a team is a collective noun. What is next? This is a band. Okay. So, there are so many uh, magicians or uh, there are so many different kinds of persons uh, including in a band. Okay. So, a band is a collective noun. Also, my all dear friends, here are more collective nouns that are used for groups of people, animals or things like the people. There are a group of animals and things also. 
Let's learn about it through the examples. Look at here in this picture. A band of magicians. A band of magicians. So various magicians are in this group. Okay, so this is a band of magician. A band of magician is a collective noun. What is next? Look at here. A bunch of keys. A bunch of keys is a collective noun. So in this, a bunch is a collective noun which is showing the bunch of uh, keys. Okay, collection of keys showing the word a bunch. A bunch of keys is a collective noun. Next. A herd of cattle. Then, in the second picture, you are seeing a swarm of bees. So, there are so many different kinds of examples like a school of fish, a team of players, a brood of chickens, a flight of steps, a collection of books, a deck of cards, a fleet of ships, a flock of sheep, a gaggle of geese, a gang of robbers. A herd of cattle, as we are seeing here, a swarm of bees, a pod of whales, a pride of lions, okay, and a troop of actors. So there are so many examples, okay, students. Um, and I'm pretty much sure about it that whatever I am teaching you, you are getting all the information in your mind, okay. So keep in mind all the important things which will help you to understand English very very easily so what is the next type the next type is material noun material noun means what my dear students it refers to a material or substance from which things are made such as silver gold iron cotton diamond and plastic so let's through the examples look a cup of tea a cup of tea is a material noun. Then, a glass of water. This is also material noun. Gold, wood. These are the material noun. Next, students. This is the fifth type of noun. That is abstract noun. An abstract noun is a word which names something that you cannot see, hear, touch, smell or taste. This is the very simple definition about it. Those things you cannot see, hear, touch, smell or taste. Those things comes in a group of an abstract noun. Let's learn through the examples. Look at this. You're sleeping over here. Then sleep. Sleep is abstract noun. This is showing an action or a movement. Then Laughter, smile, these words showing the abstract noun. There are uh, more examples like bravery, truth, beauty, courage, poverty, loyalty. So these all are the examples of abstract noun. So students, I hope in the second day you all are pretty much aware about the types of nouns so we finished what is noun the first part of speech noun and the types of noun so if you have not uh, uh, saw our first lecture so please check the link below in the uh, description box go through that first lecture and then after only you can uh, uh, you can go through this second lecture so step by step we were we are moving to uh, they learn English in 10 days. So our second day is over. Or I mean the second day uh, education about the learn English is over. So do like, share, subscribe our channel. And please share your thoughts through the comments. And if you have any question, any doubt about it. So please ping me in the comment box. Then I will reply you on the same. Thank you so much for your love and support to our English Master channel. Keep supporting. Take care of yourself, family, friends. Thank you so much. Take care and bye-bye.